yeah i'm not a fan of this this is my life now it's not a lot of margin for error here Welcome back everybody. My name is Steven Aldaco and today we are here on top of Strawberry Peak. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's the highest peak that's in front of the San Gabriel Mountains. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to go up through the mountaineering route. This is my first time attempting it and I actually don't recommend it. It was pretty sketchy. Um, so unless you're really experienced, this is the route you wanna take. Otherwise, you'll wanna take the other route, which maybe I'll do a different video soon. All right, everyone, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and let's get hiking, y'all. Strawberry Peak has a very unique look, and that's where it gets its name, because it looks like an enormous upside-down strawberry. Here is the Class 3 mountaineering route. As you can see, it's quite the scramble, and again, very, very dangerous, so make sure you're well prepared for this one. Just a few minutes outside of Pasadena, Los Angeles, you'll take the Los Angeles Crest Highway, which is a really fun road, which is why I brought my motorcycle today. This is the Colby Canyon Trailhead. Make sure you display your adventure pass before you take off, and let's get hiking. For this trek, set aside a four and a half to five and a half hours and make sure to wear long pants and a long shirt because there's a lot of overgrown brush. So you've got remnants of an old forest fire right there. All right, first mile in. Woo! Let's see. 30 minutes, almost exactly. Epic. Views are looking good. Continue up this trail. Just posing for the, for the vlog. So those are the switchbacks uh -huh. right there. Go up. So here we have the wild marijuana plant. Psych, you thought. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be a little careful here. There's a couple questionable drop offs. Let's watch your step, folks. <laughs> so we're two miles in, 62 minutes in, so that's like. 30 minute miles and we've climbed 1,200 feet. This is about where we're at so far. So you see this round UFO looking thing and then you're gonna head to the right. Keep dancing, I'll, put, I'll dub music over it. Somebody tell me what to right. do, what right. do, what right. do, So there's a flying saucer. You hang to the right. You come to this junction here, which will lead you this way. All right. So now we're climbing. Whew. Really steep, sandy portion of the trail. Oh, oh man, but look at the view right there. I'm not sure if I feel confident going this part right here. Okay, I'll be right there. So we lost Amber. I'm just kidding. She's fine. She's down there. But that rock scramble was a bit sketchy and she wasn't feeling very comfortable. So, solo mission to the peak, which is pretty close. Whew. Young buck. Oh, he hears me. Yeah. Definitely wear your long pants here because of all these thorns that you're going to be walking through. Very helpful. I have a link down in the description for these pants. 
Uh, they're nice because they zip off too if it gets too hot. It is quite the hill to get there. We're doing it. Confusing bit because the trail kind of goes off to a million different directions. No one clear path, but so just kind of snake your way through until you find a suitable trail. I thought my buddy was joking. Ooh, I almost fell. I thought he was joking when he said he might need a machete. He wasn't joking. It is quite thick over here. I'm glad I'm wearing long sleeve everything right now. See this little arrow? You follow that up, this rock scramble. And that's the top. There's a sign. It's the pathway through. And I'm hanging on to this rock. Ooh, this is a workout. It's a lot of fun. This is sketchy though. So please, 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 if you're attempting this, be careful. This is not something to mess around with. See what I mean? It's not a lot of margin for error here. But look at this grand view. Let's finish this thing strong. Man, it's so sketchy. Not exactly sure how I feel about going down all this. Ooh. Butterflies. Oh, great success. <sighs> Next time I'll bring something, I promise. Let's just say going down isn't much fun either. Oh my god. Hope Amber's okay down there. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this slippery rocks right here. No, sir. Woo! 
sketchy. There's quite a lot of brush around here. <sighs> Lots of pokey things as well. This is my life now. <sighs> Not fun. Well, it's fun, but it's sketchy. <sighs> Hope you guys are enjoying the struggle. If you are, make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Why am I such a, an adrenaline junkie? I should just relax. Stay at home. I could be uh, playing video games right now. That's fun. Woo! Man. Glad to be back on the trail. Woo! The mountaineering route looked very fun, but it was very sketchy. And I had originally planned to be out for four hours, and it is now four hours in and I still have to make my way down. I set a hard turnaround time of 1 p.m. So at 1 p.m. I was gonna turn around no matter what. If I was close to the peak or not. 1 p.m. comes around and I'm really close to the peak and I decide to keep pushing it. Now why is the turnaround time important? Well, it can be important because maybe you have only a certain amount of sunlight or maybe you only have a certain amount of water. Or for me, I have to have to go to work after this. So I'm rushing, I'm panicking, I'm not really focused and prepared on the trail. We made it back. Survived. Safe and sound. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Two and a half hours later. We'll do a what to do and what not to do uh, video instead of how to do this hike. Cause I don't recommend doing this hike. Nope. You can skip it, it's fine. <laughs> Do three-fourths of the hike. Don't do the last fourth. Brutal. Yeah. Anyway, take care. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> the path that you choose will unfold with your intention. That's how to move forward in the right direction.